All right, guys, so here's the progress on the teardrop build. So far, as you can see, I finally got walls up, which is nice. Got those put up today. Started putting some uh, cross members across the roof there as well. Um, last time you guys saw it, it was just the subflooring and the linoleum. So since then, I built that back assembly right there. And uh, what that is, is that's essentially going to be the gear loft area up here in the cabin as well as the table for the rear galley. So I built that and bolted it onto the frame. That way when I put the side walls up, the side walls could bolt into those sides right there and keep them up. So I've got a little bit of insulation right there at the foot area as well as up here on the front of it so that foam template that I showed you guys that you guys were able to see on my last video that I did I used that to kind of rough out the sides still need to do a little bit of sanding up here these are a little bit rough they need to be rounded out just a little bit um, but it's kind of starting to come together as you can see this door right here incorporates very nice. Got the locks on there. I haven't fully secured and fastened this in yet. Uh, just because I am putting 032 aluminum. White painted aluminum siding on the, the side of the trailer. So I'm going to fasten that and glue that all down and screw that down and everything. And the doors and the windows and everything will be the very last things to go on. Um, but as you can see, you got to kind of just cut out your own thing here and have that work. But so right here where this is, um, there's going to be kind of a, a face right here where I'm going to have a little bit of an entertainment center thing. Uh, basically just a place to put my MacBook and like an iHome or a Bluetooth speaker or something like that. Uh, just so I can kind of sit in here and watch TV or watch a movie or whatever if I want um, and then Store some clothes and that sort of thing, but as you can see This right here. I have screws going down on the side into the flooring and then I have my Sidewall screws coming into this wood piece right here, and I think it works seamlessly I've seen people do it where they build you know two inch thick walls, I mean minimum on these and just totally insulate it. Um, wood itself is very porous, has a lot of air in it and it is naturally an insulator in a sense. Not as much as obviously styrofoam or, or something like that, but um, having insulated kind of the foot area back here and the head area up there. Um, and then also I'm gonna do some spots up here on the ceiling once I get to that point, but I think that'll be enough. Um, you know, like I said, I kind of want this to be minimalistic and not too over the top. And so I don't, I'm not really going to mind if it's cold or whatever. I mean, I'm not, not that worried about it. So, um, after I put the rest of the, uh, cross members on the roof up here, then, um, get my Lou on and all that stuff on the front, wrap it around, and then it's gonna take about two sheets to go from the front to this point right here. And this is a double, double thick cross member right here to allow for the hatch to go on it. It's gonna be weight bearing. Um, and then I have to do, I'm gonna do one solid sheet right here from the back all the way up to the front. So it's one solid sheet to kind of equally distribute the weight and everything and then obviously kind of like you can see here half of it is going to be the counter for the galley and then I'm going to build a divider wall from here to here and then on the other side of that continuing this one sheet this is going to be the gear loft entertainment center type thing and then obviously that divider wall right there so um, it kind of worked out pretty smooth to make my template for the sides out of this insulation material. 
because then bonus, when I'm done cutting out the sides, I already have insulation to incorporate into this build. So that's gonna be pretty nice. I'm gonna to have to kind of fabricate, you know, obviously more of this galley area back here. This is kind of just a skeleton of what the galley is gonna look like, but obviously put my tabletop on here and then may do a row of drawers or something like that off to the side here. So it's uh, coming together pretty fast, but man, that door really feels slick though, holy cow. With those locks and keys and everything that it has on there, having a deadbolt, um, it's just gonna be really nice. Um, and like I showed you on one of my previous videos here, it's just got screw holes in here. And so it just screws directly into the side wall there. Um, obviously, you know, you'll wanna put weather stripping or something like that in between the actual wall of the trailer and the door. Um, and then where you kinda, or at least where, where I kinda goofed up a little bit and have gapping right here, obviously inject that with some sort of um, waterproofer or insulation or something like that. But I'm gonna put like a decorative trim around this to kinda help hide that a little bit. But um, as you can see, I mean, that's a lot of sleeping area right there. That's the exact dimensions of a full-size mattress, um, which is gonna be perfect, I think. So the uh, linoleum's tacking down pretty well and feels pretty good. So um, the height from the bottom of the floor to the top of what's gonna be the Gearloft Entertainment Center is 17 and a half inches. Um, which is a little bit taller than most I've seen. Most are right around like 14. Um, but I've seen some guys that cram huge mattresses in these and they don't have enough foot clearance to get underneath the entertainment center with their legs and stuff like that. And I mean, I don't know, I think it's a little crazy. I think they should maybe plan a little bit better. But like I said, it's also one of the nice things about watching these kind of videos and just learning and seeing what other people are doing. Um, it's kind of nice to take all sorts of different ideas, but it's coming together. Next step, definitely, like I said, is put that sheet across right there and kind of fill that in a little bit and then put some uh, quarter inch wood back by that insulation, kind of close that off and start creating my divider right there. But uh, it's coming together really quick. It's exciting seeing it take shape. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.